Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. Today is Saturday, March the 29th, 2014. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, how wonderful it is that we can greet one another in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we do that, it is indeed Jesus in us greeting others in his name. Throughout this day, let us rejoice that Jesus is in us and in all the people who believe in him. And all the people who do not believe in him, he wants to live in them. It is up to us to share the good news of the love of Jesus with anyone and everyone. I invite you to continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 18. Today, let us focus in on verses 12 to 14. Jesus says, what do you think if a man owns a hundred sheep and one wanders off? Will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go after the one who was lost? And if any finds the one that was lost, what a joy he will have. He will have more joy over the one that wandered off than the ninety-nine that did not wander off. It is in the same way our Heavenly Father do not want any of his sheep any of his children to be wander, to be lost wandering away. He comes after us. He sent Jesus Christ as our good shepherd to look for the lost one, the ones that wandered away, and bring them back to the fold. Oh, sisters and brothers, what a joyous, glorious parable that is. We are more valuable to God than and 100 or 1,000 sheep or 1,000 cattle because we are created in the image of God. It is only for us Jesus died on the cross. So whenever, whenever anyone wanders away from the truth, wanders away from the fold of Jesus Christ, he comes after those, the lost ones, the ones that wandered away. He inspires us to do the same thing. We know someone is going in the wrong direction. Someone is sinning and living in sin. Someone do not care about God or about his amazing love for him. It is up to us to go to that person and say, Jesus loves you. He is the only one who gave up his life on the cross for you. He would never give up on you. How glorious it is to, to contain and communicate such an amazing truth, such a glorious truth. Yeah, when we share with the, someone about the amazing love of Jesus, he or she may not accept it. The rebellious spirit of the devil will come upon them and they would wander away. But it's up to us to keep on going after them in prayer in love, in good deeds. It is through us Jesus seeks out the lost and save them. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for creating us in your image, in your likeness, Oh, precious Lord, we glorify you for your creation. Lord Jesus Christ, how can we thank you enough for dying on the cross to redeem us, to bring us back to the fold of God, to come after us when we wander away and bring us back. Oh, precious Lord Jesus Christ, continue to live within us going after the lost one, 
going after the people who have wandered away, wandered away. Enable us to be your, your mouthpiece, your prayer, your love, your care for all those who have wandered away from the truth. Enable us to pray for them and bring them back to your fold. Lord, there are so many who do not know how much you love them. Please, Lord, send forth missionaries and Christian people everywhere to reach out to those who do not know about you. O Holy Spirit, continue to energize us, inspire us to contain the joy of Jesus, contain the joy of the Eternal Father to bring back people who wandered away. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.